Hey, Chet's parents. Okay, listen now, I know that you love your kid and your church loves them too, but can we be honest for just a second? Students can be really mean, whether it's fake friends or gossip or bullying or rumors or even more serious things like racial or sexual harassment. Like students deal with a lot and sometimes it's as the victims and sometimes it's as the perpetrator. So what can you do when these situations arise? The first thing is call it out. When you see students treating others with disrespect or cruelty, call it out. If your kid is being bullied, they need to know that it's not okay and that they don't deserve it. And if your kid's the one bullying, they need to hear you communicate that it's not okay. And when you do that, remember, speak that truth in love. It is so important. The second thing is provide them support. Whether the kid is the victim or the bully, they need your support to walk with them through this. Third is help your kid manage their emotions. Whether it's anger or fear or sadness or shame, help them identify what they're feeling so that they can better control their own responses. And the fourth thing is build their confidence. Whether your kid's the bully or the victim, they need to know that you love them. They need to know that you believe in them and that you're with them even when they mess up. And that means holding them accountable when they mess up. But often bullying comes from a lack of self-confidence and a lack of self-esteem. So build their confidence in a way that helps them see that tearing other people down isn't the way to feel better about yourself. And then finally, number five, intervene when necessary. Your kid doesn't need you to fight every battle for them, but they do need your help sometimes. So fight for your kid when you're not sure how they can fight for themselves.